If you are a pioneer, new or old. If you are just about to begin mining Pi from the Pi network, or you have not done your KYC or are about to do so. This video is especially for you. I will be providing basic knowledge about what you should do and how you should do them so as to get your KYC done. If you are also wondering when exactly to expect the invitation to KYC, then you must wait and watch this video. I will explain exactly when the invitation comes and what to do when it comes. This is not the time to play around. Relax and watch, get the basic information you need to move forward in the Pi Network project. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I will respond as timely as I can. My candid advice is this, every basic information counts. You blink, you miss. As we get closer to the 28th of June 2022, when everyone will actually be certain that their mind Pi will be transferred to their wallets. It is crucial that we also understand what we need to put in place in order to be ready for the migration. I know most of you will be saying that you already know. But it's not a bad idea to actually have a checklist to be precise that the right things have been done. Permit me to take the list from the top. This is to help those that have not done any of it at all, and also those that are new to the Pi network. Before I continue, I would like to stress that, you will need to get invited to submit for KYC and also get approved. Before you can migrate your mind Pi to the mainnet. Don't worry, I will share a secret to the timeline as to when invitations are sent to you, and how long it takes to expire. Maybe that's why you have been missing it and have not yet done KYC. I will not be showing how to do your KYC, I already have a video that talks about that. You can find the card on this video or link to the video in the description. I will also be sharing with you the exact time when you can expect the invitation to do KYC, so I suggest you pay close attention to this video. To become a pioneer, you need to download the Pi app from either the Google Play Store for Android users or the Apple Store for iPhone users. After the download, carefully go through the process to install and register to mine. Make sure that all the credentials that you fill in while registering, Match any government-approved documents that you may have. Next thing you need to do is to download the Pi Network browser, this is also available on both Android phones and iPhones. Next, you will need to set up and configure your wallet, this can be done from the Pi browser and not the Pi app. I have a link to the video on how to set up your Pi wallet. You can find the link in the description. Next, you will need to invite more people to join in the mining of the Pi network. This will allow you after three days of consecutive mining, to create the security circle. The security circle is a very important and vital part of the Pi network project. So, I suggest you take it very seriously. Securing your mind Pi is very vital and should not be taken for granted. After inviting a minimum of 5 people, you can then create a security circle. Don't get me wrong, the security circle requires a number of 5 to become effective. At this point you are ready to move to the lockup. This is where you will have to lock up a portion of your Pi for future value, and also to help make the Pi network blockchain stronger. I also will leave a link to the video where I showed how to lock up your Pi, you can find this in the description. you will have to check and verify your account. This is equally important. To do this, you will have to go to your Pi Network app and click on the menu. Here you will need to verify the following, your phone number, your email address, and your Facebook account. Let's take a look at the checklist once more. When you have completed all that is in this checklist, then you will be ready to receive the invitation to KYC. 1. Download the Pi Network app and install. Two. Download the Pi Network browser and install. 3. Set up and configure the Pi Network wallet. 4. Create security circle. 5. Secure your Pi by verifying your accounts. 6. Pi lock up, after you have all these in place. Let me now reveal the exact time you will need to expect the Pi KYC invitation. To receive the KYC invitation is simple. You need to be active on the Pi network. This means that you will have to be consistent in hitting the mine button on your Pi app, 
every 24 hours. I think we already knew that, but this is the catch. When you are consistent for a period of time, the Pi system recognizes you as being active. Then at the end of your mining session, the invitation will be sent to you. Let me explain more. You will never receive an invitation for KYC while your mining session is still active. The invitation to KYC will come at the beginning of a new session, that is, when you are supposed to press the mining button to begin a new session. Now, the reason why most people have been missing it and think that the invitation has not come to them is this. When your mining session end and the new session is supposed to begin, but you have not clicked the app to start mining, the invitation only lasts for 15 minutes. So, if you are consistent at mining, you will definitely notice the invitation before the 15 minutes elapses, but if you are not a consistent miner, you may be one of those that forget to click the button till after few hours or few days, the chances that you will see the invitation is slim. I mean really slim because the invitation will wait for only 15 minutes for you to accept. Now do you see why some of you have not gotten the invitation but some members of your mining team have done KYC? The basic point is that consistency is key. It's your choice on how to improve on that. Better late than never. Subscribe for more updates, news, and strategies on the crypto space. I will bring you more insights on the Pi Network with my upcoming videos. Make sure not to miss them. Remember to go through the checklist and check every one that you have done. If you have missed any, try and complete them so as to get invited quicker. I will leave links to the necessary videos that will explain most of the procedures discussed in this video in the description below this video. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so, and also share this video, someone else might need it. My name is Tony, and this is Basic Knowledge. Until my next video, keep mining.